We're just talking. We're, I, I don't know. I, I'm the worst safety person in the world, so I, I should be paying attention to this. <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's one of the most anticipated movies of the year. Avengers Infinity War hit screens this weekend. It's a culmination of 10 years of superhero movies. And if you feel like, wait a minute, where does this one start? I'm a little lost. We've got Andy Johnson with us. He has his own shop, a Cosmic Monkey Comics. So, so this is a big movie. It's supposed to be a, a huge hit at the box office. People have been talking about it for quite a while. It's going to have a little, Black Panther really blew everything out of the water. So it's, even though Black Panther appears in this movie as one of the main characters, uh, there's a lot of momentum, hopefully, leading from that into this. For those of us who are sort of dummies Behind. when it comes to the whole <laughs> superhero thing, who will be in this movie? Um, so it's going to have the Avengers, which is Captain America, Iron Man, Hulk, um, and then it's going to have Ant-Man, Spider-Man, Black Widow, Black Panther, um, and then Guardians of the Galaxy, which have been off in space. They've had two movies. They're all going to appear in this movie also. Doctor Strange. Oh, they're back also. from space then. Yeah. Now, who's the villain? Uh, Thanos. Thanos. What do yes. you know about Thanos? Thanos, uh, he's, he's a, a character that's called a titan, and he's kind of like a god. He wants, he's in love with death and wants to destroy the, he's just, well, he's a bad guy. He's a <laughs> real bad guy. So I, I gotta ask you, are, are you a little surprised if we go back over a decade now, we used to just have Spider-Man movie. It was one by one by one. Are mm -hmm. you a little surprised how popular it's been to start bringing all these characters together? No, it's kind of when you're a kid, that's what you want that shared universe. You like it when you know, that's your dream of having all these characters meet and how, what would they do? Who would win in a fight or, or what would they pick on television to watch together? Your <laughs> business is comics and you've yes. been selling Avengers comics for a long time. Mm -hmm. do, does the movie follow what you're reading in the comics? Ooh, good question. A little bit. Uh, the comics have been coming out since the early 60s and so the movies have this advantage of they can kind of pick and choose storylines that they think would yeah. do well on, on in cinema. Andy you brought something in studio today worth three thousand dollars. The book there <laughs> on the right three thousand dollars what makes it that valuable? So this is the fourth issue I, and I don't have this book uh, Comic Adventures a guy named Bruce a friend of mine uh, lent it to me for this but uh uh, he, this is the first time Captain America, who was originally created in the in the 30s during World War II, <clears throat> he um, he joined the Avengers. He became a member. He wasn't one of the original members, but four issues later, they decided to bring him in and have him become. What gives it the value? Is it the age or the storyline? It's both, and it's also condition. Uh, a lot of kids read comics back then, so very few yeah. of them survived. So, um, and this one is in really good shape. Actually, well, Andy, where are comics now? I mean, do we have a whole new generation of kids growing up on comics? And would you say, or that not so much? Yeah, um, new people are always, especially with the movies, new people are always discovering them. Um, they're also being collected into books like this. This is the very first issue of Avengers, but now you can get them in uh, libraries and bookstores. So um, book form, that's a hard Yeah, right and this there. just oh. collects like 10 of the comics into one book. Mm -hmm. But um, people are always discovering them and um, there's still, there's gonna be a brand new Avengers series starting next week, uh, new number one. The comic book. Yeah, yeah. And you were telling us there's an oh. event coming up encouraging kids to read comics. Yeah, free comic book day is a national event, it happens once a year. Uh, this year. It's always the first Saturday of May, so it's gonna be May 5th and there's going to be a free Avengers comic that we're going to be giving out, plus 29 other comics, that, so people can pick and choose which, whichever ones well, they want. Well, I mean, want. as a parent, it's a great way to get your kids interested in reading, it yes? Is, it yeah. is, and plenty yeah. of pictures. So tell us yeah. where to find Cosmic Monkey Comics. We're on 53rd and Sandy Boulevard in the Hollywood District. Oh, okay. All right, well, thanks for stopping by today. Enjoy the movie. I know you have plans to see yes. it with your kids. Yes. Well, and your first chance uh, to see the movie Avengers Affinity War in the Portland area is actually tonight at oh. a couple of the Regal Cinemas. There's special 3D showings happening at 6 tonight at the Regal Theaters at Lloyd Center, Vancouver, Bridgeport, and Evergreen locations. Now, Regal also has some treats for fans who do show up for these special showings. Ooh. A collectible coin rod. Nice. A collectible cup with yes. a large combo. That involves, of course, going to the snack bar. Right. And they're promising some exclusive content from Disney and Marvel Studios. Two dollars off on Infinity popcorn? War. No, Not no. sure, but okay. you do get that collectible, <laughs> collectible cup if you spring for the okay. large combo. Hey, we'll be right back.